Hello YouTube, it is me the Drip Kage here with another video and in today's video we're doing what if Naruto was still reincarnate. So let's get into it. Wait a wait, nigga. So let's get into it. Now, this is what it is really. It, it's gonna a part of it is gonna start off with Naruto's birth. So Naruto is born. Minato can tell. Naruto's hair is blonde, but it's not the same blonde color as his. His facial structure is a well, is a little bit different from his. It was a lot different from his. But you know he doesn't question it. Naruto is his son. He has his blue eyes. He yeah, he just looks at Naruto and can tell that this is his son. Now when Buako you know begins to um add up showing Naruto to Kushida, Naruto will begin to float in the air for a little bit and then produce electricity or lightning from his body. Now this would create enough distraction for the masked man to, you know, after being getting over his shock faster than everyone else, will kill Biwako and the other nurse, and would then take Naruto, and the, and the entire Naruto event will happen much the same. Now when it comes to sealing Naruto, I mean sealing the Naruto, Minato would do it, but after the sealing, uh, before the sealing is done, a everyone will see like a just gigantic rainbow light. Would strike down, but Minato and Kashina will see it strikes down right next to Naruto. But um, this is when it disappears. They will both see two things falling to the ground, and it, it would these two things will crash down right next to Naruto's um, the ceiling altar where Naruto's on. This being a gigantic axe in a hammer of sorts. This is the Minato and Kashina wouldn't question it, but we'll see the Naruto's. After we go on to see the night, oh yeah, I would say this was after, and we, um, you know, go on and die. Give he was in the talk and everything, all about that. Yeah, that would happen. So moving on, this is where we get into a twelve-year time skip. Now, because of the fact Naruto being Thor's reincarnate and how he's lived, Thor, um, Naruto was not yet worthy. He has not yet proven himself to be worthy. So his innate power of lightning has not yet came. Or uh, his god of thunder abilities have not yet come out. Should I say. Anyways. In the force of death. Orochimaru has just hit Naruto with a. Um, with a. Um, with his five element seal. Now Naruto will be knocked out. Will be sent into. A mindscape, but this isn't like the one that he was in when um, when he briefly talked to the fox um, on the bridge with Haku. This is different. This one is sur surrounded by a place made of gold. It's not until sees a man walking towards him. Now, on the outside, Orochimaru has just buried Naruto with the earth jutsu and goes on to give Sasuke either, you know, his curse mark and Sakura takes Sasuke away and all those things. As Naruto then sees a man approaching him, as this man is roughly around six foot, I believe Thor is six foot three. Six foot three with long, well not long, well, yeah, long blonde hair. A beard, and he's wearing this cool outfit, this cool metal armor with a cape at the bottom, and these boots. As the man sits, um, kneels in front of Naruto, puts his hand on, on his head. And says, you have finally become worthy enough to awaken my power. Snarto says, who are you and what power? I am Thor, the Norse God of Thunder, as I've been told on Earth. I'm the God of Thunder, the strongest Avenger. The story will begin to laugh. We all know Thor always says he's the strongest. As Naruto say, what's an Avenger? He says, Wait, you don't know what an Avenger is? Nunch says no. It must be a different world or they're all dead or forgotten by history, but I doubt it. I doubt we're all forgotten. Anyways. 
You, Naruto Uzumaki, have been... Wait, Uzumaki? That's not a... I've ever heard anyone go by Earth and Uzumaki. Anyway, that's not important. You, Naruto Uzumaki, have proven yourself worthy of the title. To become... Uh, to become... Get the title of God of... Dist of lightning. I was just saying destruction. So I hereby grant you my power. Now, because of your malnutrition, and we used up all of my abilities... It will use up all of my power to fix your body. But I will grant you memories on how to use all of my power. How I use it. You will take on a physical form more suited that looks more like me. And when you first call them, when you call them and tap Mjolnir to the ground. Or Stormbreaker to the ground. When you tap Stormbreaker to the ground. The armor, the Asgardian armor that I wear, shall come around you. Along with the boots. And you will have become fully, become Thor, the new Thor, the new god of thunder. As Thor begins to glow, as he fully disappears, and so does the mosque. As Naruto opens his eyes, as he begins, his eyes then be, and his body begins to radiate off lightning. As he him, sees that there's a sudden thunderstorm, or yeah, yeah, sudden thunderstorm above the force of death. I'll be thinking, oh, what kid knows these type of jutsus? But wouldn't care too much about it. And moving on, Hiruzen would, um, not Hiruzen, Naruto would then hold up, um, jump out of the ground. Noticing that he's a, he's a lot taller and his clothes don't fit anymore. At all. As his voice is different. As he touches his face, as he feels that he has a beard, as he touches his hair and it's a lot longer. Naruto says, cool, always wanted a beard. Naruto says, mm. So it's true, huh? Well, <clears throat> well, let's just see how they take it. As Naruto will hold out his hands. As he opens one eye, as he's waiting on it, as he closes it again, as he can feel it, it's close. As he feels two objects hit, hit his palms, as he wraps his hand, closes his hand around the object. As he opens his eyes to see with an axe and a hammer. As everyone just saw a gigantic lightning bolt strike down in the force of death. It's, well, not yet. Actually, no, not yet, not yet. Naruto would then say, he said, tap down Stormbreaker or Mjolnir. So Stormbreaker would bring out his um his we're gonna say either his um normal Avengers or Avengers Infinity War or his I'm uh, um, not Infinity War or his Age of Ultron or his beginning or Ragnarok outfit. It was one of those three. He can I'm um, say he can you know subconsciously choose which one, but he would want the one that Thor was wearing. His you know Storm Storm one Stormbreaker one you know. Infinity War, um, and things like that. So Naruto will slam his hand down on the, uh, well, not his hand, slam the hammer, uh, hit the axe on, tap the axe to the ground. As a lightning bolt, uh, then a gigantic lightning bolt will strike down. So Naruto says, whoa. So Naruto begins to run through the forest. As everyone, as Sakura and no, Sasuke, the entire altercation has happened. So yes, it did take Naruto like a day and a couple of hours to wake up. Like, that's how long his um his talk with Thor was, was but in his Masuke time went relatively fast. But outside, it was really, it was really slow. So Naruto began to run. So Naruto then jumps up as he sees a team. As he sees his team. So Naruto... Brings up his um axe. As he lands on uh, as before he lands on the ground, he hits his axe on the ground, causing a discharge of electricity in a um like a EMP type explosion, like a barrier explosion type thing, um, like a, a almighty push type explosion, full of electricity pushing everyone back. Is everyone looking to the crater to see us? A tall yet very handsome man sitting sitting in the middle. It's not to say Sasuke, Sakura chan. Are you okay? Sakura say the only person Naruto? Is Naruto say Yeah? Why it's not to say forgot I, I look different. 
as Zaku then begins to throw um throw his hands out. As Zaku then said, extreme decapitating airwaves, as he will shoot out a large blast of airwaves that will begin to, you know, slice things up. As Zaku sees Naruto standing there without a scratch at all, as Naruto then holds his hand out, Zaku's wondering what was he doing. As Naruto then holds his one hand, puts Stormbreaker down for a second, or Puts it down and it stands up on its own on the hammer side. It's like, puts the hammer side down before it stands up. So Naruto holds out his finger and says, just wait a second. Those two says, Zaku move. And Zaku doesn't move in time. But turns around. he turns around to, and then gets out. Face full of hammer. As Thor, yes, as Naruto did throw the hammer. I, I'll say that he, uh, I said he brought one hand up. But yes, he did throw the hammer before he landed. It was just recalling it. Because... I believe Thor could guide Mjolnir because, you know, Mjolnir can go around in circles around Thor. Like, he, he has to be able to guide it. As Naruto, let me say, he said, always watch out for the hammer. As um, Dosu is about to attack Naruto. As, not, as stated, Thor can move, I believe, faster than the speed of sound. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's true. But Thor has to have a Naruto has to have a speed buff. So Naruto will see Dosu and will begin to spin his hammer as he would then hit Dosu straight in the chin, sending this man up. As Naruto's body will begin to radiate with lightning. As Naruto will open his hands as a gigantic lightning bolt will strike down Dosu. Sending him into the ground, but it wasn't enough to kill him. <laughs> Naruto wasn't, it wasn't more for powers, more for show. So, that's, that's the reason why he, it was, why it was big, it wasn't as powerful as he could make it. So, you know, those who survived. Naruto will go to Dosu and will take his scroll. As Naruto says, let's go, Sakura, Sasuke. Sasuke will say, what power is this? Why does he have it, not me? I'll ask him, I'll make him, I'll ask him for it. And if he says no, then I'll make him give it to me. It might be those axes. That axe and that hammer that gives him that power. I'll take it from him. Now, I know you guys are going to ask, why do I always make Sasuke a douchebag and every what if that I do? Well, as if you haven't watched the Hinata what if not he not to give Naruto to be I didn't make him one in there. And I don't plan to do it in every what if. Okay, I might, but I don't. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> moving on. Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura will all head to the tower and when they would get there, Naruto will open the scrolls. Now Ruka will see a man. With the beard, as he knows that none of the contestants had a beard, as he would say, Um, who are you? Naruto winds up and hugs Iruka Sensei, as he says, Ah, oh, it's so nice to see you again, Iruka Sensei. Naruto says, Hey, I just noticed my voice sounds different. And who cares? As Iruka says, As Iruka looks around, as he sees Sasuke and Sakura, he says, Sasuke, Sakura, who is this? This, they say, That's not. Zuruka's eyes were wide and he was a like, Naruto. Naruto said, ha, don't you recognize me? So you scratch his head. Imagine Thor scratching his head. Oh my god. And like embarrassed. Zuruka says, what happened to you? Naruto says, I just awakened my power. And Zuruka begins to think, the Nine Tails did this to him? But the Nine Tails was supposed to despise all humans. It looked like it just made him stronger. As. I'm sorry for that. As, um, hold up. As Iruka then says, all right, come on, come on in. And I'll guide you guys to your rooms. You guys made it just in time, actually. You have at least a good five hours before the exams ends. This is cool. As, I'm sorry, as Naruto and the entire team will be in a thing waiting for the next five hours. So five hours were passed and they will all be called to the center 
of the um, not the center of the center of the force of death. I don't really know what the tower in the force of death. And you, the Hokage will be shocked because he really could, um, no one told him about Naruto's change. You know, well about who no one told him who this person was that was in Naruto's spot. As he, he has a feeling that this is Naruto. As he says, um, welcome everyone. Um, it's very nice to see you. As he would then go on to give a speech about the Will of Fire and why the Chunin Zamzo found it. And this is when Gekko Hayate will come in and would then ask if anyone wants to give up, they can do now, do it now because it won't affect their team. And, well, they can try again next year or in the next six months. I believe the Chunin Zamzo hold twi held twice a year. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. Moving on, Naruto, um, Kabuto would give up, and uh, the other people would give up. I believe there were other people who gave up, but yes, Kabuto ended up giving up. He was my, probably the most notable one. As um, Hayate then looks at Zaku and says, are you sure you don't want to give up? Zaku says, yeah. Uh, Zaku has bandages around his arms and his um, hands. Now, yes... Sasuke did rip his arms, but I know you guys are wondering, wait, when Naruto fought him, shouldn't he have been in incredible pain? Well, it was kind of the adrenaline at the moment when Naruto came. He kind of forgot about that and, you know, shot it. So, yeah. Anyways, after, you know, all that was settled, the matches will begin. Now, I'm going to say the first match that happens is Naruto versus Kiba. So, Kiba was saying... <laughs> Look, Akamaru. Wait, who is? Where is Naruto? As they will, everyone will see the man that they saw with Team Seven coming down. As the man in the very deep, yet weird voice tone, weird to them. Most people find it very sexy, especially a woman talking at that tone. Not deep, but you know. Anyways, I'm so sorry about that. Anyways, um. Naruto, or, and basically in Thor's voice, will say, Come on, Akiba. Look, I'm right here. How could you not see me? As then one's jaws were dropped. Because Kakashi, you know, kind of had an idea that this was Naruto. Or that, you know, the civilians forced, you know, a, a tuning on a team so that they could, you know, so that Sasuke could pass or something. This is what they were thinking. This is what he was thinking, because not all tuning, not all um, Joan, people of not of the man's age that that was there became Joni, and they wouldn't put a Joni in there. And he was wondering why the Joni never gave up, or the tuning never gave up. As Kiba says, "Who who are you?" Naruto says, "It's me, Naruto." This is as huge as say, huh? Nico says, wow, he is pretty hot. As everyone would then turn and look at her, even Naruto. As Anko would then feel a subtle killing intent, as he would then direct her eyes towards him. See, it's coming off of Hinata. Hinata is beyond gone and activated. As Anko to get just look into her eyes and say, and it says, back off, he's mine. No, he not to just found, finds this Naruto even more. Oh, I forgot about that video in my hand. She finds this Naruto being a lot more attractive than, well, he's like, he's more attractive. He's got, he's added on to his attractiveness, basically. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Naruto, um, we get down. Then one will see that he's using a giant axe as like a cane type thing. As Naruto begins to slam the axe on the ground. Or the um the handle part. The wooden part. He would keep slamming that on the ground like tapping the cane. Naruto will say, come on, Kiba. As it was reverting throughout, re reverberating throughout the tower. As everyone feels the tower is somewhat shaking from every, after every tap. As Kiba says, it doesn't matter what form you take. It might be a transformation, but I'll kick you. 
No, I'm not about to say it. I, I can't say it. I just can't get away with it in the house. Anyways, Nars, he says, I'll beat you up. That just doesn't sound as cool as what I want to say. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Anyways, moving on. Naruto will, um and and Kiba would then face each other. It's Naruto staring down at Kiba. It's Naruto says Kiba's so small. As Kiba would um would then tell the partner to start the match, get a high tail or go, get go, Geico. Anyways, Geico or high tail will start the match. As Kiba would then do a. Um, fang over fang. As we hear Naruto, everyone just sees Naruto is just taking, tanking this. Because look, if Thor could take a, the power of a neutron star, over a star nonetheless, he could take pretty much everything. Even probably even to tell Beast Ball. Without really much being affected. So. Yeah. Naruto says. My turn. As Naruto would then code out a sentence, everyone would see the hammer that was left in the man's place begin to levitate up. As Kiba says, what are you doing? As Naruto then puts his head down in, in a swift motion and grabs Kiba's neck. As Naruto holds Kiba's neck out. As Akuma begins to bite Naruto's feet but or foot, but it doesn't really pierce the, his boots or anything. As Mjolnir um, is spinning around Naruto, Naruto says, eventually tells Kiba out loud, basically says, eventually Mjolnir will come to my hand. And if your face is still there, well, splat. No more head for Kiba. No more remains of the head either. Which one do you want? Kiba says, I give up. Naruto says, attaboy, Kiba. Good job. As Naruto um, throws Kiba aside and calls Mjolnir, as Mjolnir hits him, that says good. I'm kind of, I kind of want to save this power for the finals, so I can shock the civilians. So much of everything else would go much to canon, and this is where we get into the one-month time skip, and this is where I'll be ending off part one of what if Naruto stores reincarnate or reincarnation. And I'll see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.